Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform our viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the industry of virtualization. Tonight's presentation is going to be another Proxmox feature that makes it much easier to add a Samba SMB share to your Proxmox web interface. Now we've done several other tutorials about this, but every other tutorial has required us to use shell commands to mount the drive and work with it. Well, a viewer pointed out a feature inside of Proxmox's web interface that will allow us to do this without ever leaving the web interface. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at this feature. So the first thing we need to do inside of our Proxmox web interface is to select Data Center. From Data Center, we're going to go down here and select Storage. And then here at Add, we're going to select the SMB-CIFS dropdown. All right, there's one thing I forgot to do. Let's start our Samba server. And we need to know the IP address of our Samba server. To do that, we enter the command IP address. And we can see the IP address of my server is 10.10.2.156. All right, so now we can go back to data center, storage, add SMB-CIFS, and we're presented with this screen. The first thing we need to do is to give our new storage location a name. We can call it VE today. Now we enter the IP address of our server, which we found out to be 10, 10, 2, 156. Then the username today, because this is just a test server that we do little videos like this with, we're just going to use root. Now we're going to enter our system password and we should see in short time right here the different shares on our system appear. We're going to use test here today. We're going to come over here to contents and we can actually select what we would like to use this system for. VM images, container images, ISO images, container templates, backup images, containers, or snippets. Today, just because this is a demo, for you to see how to do this, we're just going to use disk images. But you can select one, two, or all of them, depending on whatever you would like to use to do that with. The last step we need to do to add this to our Proxmox web terminal is just click Add. And here you can see it has been added right here to our web terminal. And that is all it takes to add in a new storage location from a Samba or SMB share to your Proxmox server. A lot simpler than actually using all those command line tools that we talked about before. I hope you enjoyed this quality of life improvement and simplicity given to us by Proxmox and found my video demonstration easy. If you did, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to virtualize everything if you have not already done so. This will help us bring more great content to you and other viewers through the YouTube system to help educate and inform viewers about virtualization. As always, have a good night.